once again, people, welcome to yet another quake base level exploration. Yeah, we have lots of these, so let's um, check out yet another one in God's name. And see what in God's name, we, like I said, we had to check out here. Um, once again, we don't really have a level name itself, but luckily it says it pretty much in the documentation. It's called Five Days. And it's made by Thomas Moeller. Elias Vlifilek of TIC. Um, yeah, that's basically apparently his clan, wh whoever, you know, I don't know if that's part of Quake or if that's just for Doom. Um, and yeah, he's made a lot of different cool add-ons for Doom 2, such as Memento Mori and Memento Mori 2. I think I've heard of those, so actually, yeah, that's pretty, um, pretty notable, definitely to say. Um, so yeah. So here it is, the first thing for Quake done by him. Nothing special, just a simple first thing to check out how Quake Edium works. It took him about five days with several restarts. Half of the time was wasted in fits and level bugs, which were produced by the editor. Well, that kind of stinks. Um, yeah, it sounds rather annoying. Um, but yeah, he used Quest primarily for this. Um, he also add, um, used Etstad, which is apparently a text editor, to basically add entities and doing alignment. Um, yeah, a lot of these were like su uh, supplanted with um, various... Various text editors or whatnot. Anyway, this one's made a little bit more recent than a lot of them that we've checked out lately. Um, lately it seems we've been kind of like stuck in like a August, July rut. This one was made in September. September 18th of 1996. Um, not that it really matters too, too much. But yeah, it's definitely a little bit of a different month for a change, as I said. Um, I don't really have any timestamps as usual. But luckily, so far, they've been pretty nice to me by saying it in the documentation itself. Um, so yeah, it has single player, but it's useless. But he says yes. I hate when they do that. Why in God's name do you say yes, there is single player? And it just feels really, really annoying because, honestly, it's the same idea as, say, Crypto Death or all the others. If you say yes, that means technically, officially, there is a single player, but there isn't. It's totally useless. He even says it's useless. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to document this as a freaking single player level, which stinks because it's not a single player level. It's a multiplayer level. Um, yeah. It has five deathmatch starts. It's a relatively small level. And yeah, additional credits to id, 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 id. Also, the add-on pro progs coders. But code them logical. So let's see here. This was made in five days. Um, QBSP, white, viz, all the stuff like that. Anyway, there are some apparently ugly bad lines between brushes which are produced by Quest apparently using some coordinate rounding things. Apparently it's trying to like round to the nearest unit on like a grid and ends up basically ends up creates a bad lines that are unremovable. They are mostly invisible. They won't harm the gameplay. So they're just going to be there. But yeah, they're a thing. I haven't noticed in any other quest level, so I can't imagine this being a problem here. Um, but yeah. Quest. Let, let's, let's load it up and see what exactly five days is. I mean, it doesn't even have a level name. Like, I don't know why you didn't do that part. Bro wall! And pentagram. There's a pentagram here. But yeah, double barrel shotgun right here conveniently. Right next to the pentagram of death! Of evilness! Pentagram! Okay, and we can come down the staircase. This leads to, um... A lower floor of this area with a nail gun! Nail gun! It goes well with the pentagram! There's a light fixture up there. For some reason. I see it's a lot more decorated than your average deathmatch level. That, that's something at least. It looks pretty! We may not be able to do anything with it, but it might golly it'll look pretty. Can come over here, gather some shells. Not sure what I'm doing with that, but it's a thing. Let's see, we have two ways to go, any or mini. My knee. Mo. I found my way to an elevator! 
Okay, and the double barreled shotgun again. Yeah, another one. That's two of them. Um, and there's an elevator on this side, which means I want to check out the other side. Maybe I has the elevator as well. Maybe it's symmetrical. No? Okay, this is getting a bit confusing. But this is another tunnel. With another elevator. Oh god, this is elevator number two. This is probably a bad idea. But yeah, it's a bit confusing. Here's another ramp of some sort. Yeah, I'm a bit disoriented in this place. But uh, here's the super narrow gun under some stairs. There's another way. What's upstairs? Oh look! A rocket launcher! Can always use that. As you see, this seems to be a totally sealed off room. There's nothing else up here, it seems. I mean, there's all these, um, castle turrets around the area. Which suggests that you could rocket jump to them, maybe, but, uh... Not sure if that's intentional. There's also a weird wind tunnel. Sadly, that did nothing for me. I was thinking maybe I could jump to that or do something or unlock some secret in the universe. But, uh, nothing! See, here's a platform that overlooks the area we were at before with another rocket launcher. Useful for dominating the world. So yeah, this is right before we head into the water to begin with. Um, and yeah, now we're heading over here, which is the opposite side. And this is where we saw the elevator. So we just kind of linked up this area. Yeah, you can come over here. Here's the elevator. Here's where the rocket launcher is. And yeah, makes, makes simple sense. Now we kind of want to get to um, the begin area. Pentagram and all that. I'm assuming there's like a corridor up there which leads around to this area. And it kind of creates like a figure eight of some sort. Let's see here. That, that's the way we were. We don't want to go that way. We want to come down here to the elevator. Oh wait, there's a hole in the elevator. Look at that. Yeah, there's a giant hole in the elevator. You actually want to like go on the sides or else, yeah, you won't be picked up by the elevator. Very important to note. Now you want to drop off really, really quickly because it'll give you the thunderbolt. Convenient enough, and you just drop right here in the water. Just a little pin platform. It's apparently a secret of the map, because otherwise, yeah, it's very, very easy to mess that. Um, not the biggest secret in the world, but it is the secret. As you see, this just leads around, and we're back at the pentagram. Every gun in the game except the grenade launcher. That, that's strange. There's no grenade launcher here. Um, yeah. I mean, it could be possible there is no grenade launcher. That, that's very, very possible thing. But, um, yeah, that's gonna bug me. The lack of a grenade launcher. I always hate when they have one gun missing. Because it's like, did I miss that gun? Did it, it, does it really not exist in this level? Who knows? And see, there's no secret counter. There's no, um, enemies or whatnot to really find. So, um, yeah, there's really not much to this. I, there's no armor or anything like that either. In fact, there's no power-ups whatsoever. It's a little more detailed and drawn out uh, than you normal level. But, yeah. I don't think there's many, like, ammo pickups for the most part. There's some for nails and some for shells. But there's, like, none for rockets or uh, Thunderbolt. Let's see here. I want to try and see if I could get on top of this. And from here, I want to try and get up onto that castle. Okay? I can't do it. The wall's like literally right above me, so you see, it's just like you can't even really like jump without like hitting you back down almost immediately. So needless to say, pretty worthless. Let's see, can I get in the fire? No. Yeah, it seems like that's about it, people. I was trying to find something more, some little hidden detail, but yeah, th this isn't that complex of a map to really offer those type of things. As I said, it doesn't really have any power ups or anything fancy like that. It looks like. So um. Yeah, there's no, there's, there wasn't even any health pickups, is there? Yeah, I didn't see any health pickups. So, yeah, very basic map. Very fancy in the decoration work. But there's no level name and there's no um, pickups or whatnot. So, it's missing some features. It has, like I said, the fanciness to it. But that's about it, honestly. That's really, like, the main thing of this level is... It looks more fancy than your average level, but yeah, as for the actual gameplay, I would say it's on the more lacking side, because while it's kind of hard to judge, yeah, it's lacking um, any power-ups or really 
anything useful at all that you would normally use in like a level um, outside of like I said the few guns. And I said it doesn't even have all the guns so it, it's, it's very very simple of a level. So yeah needless to say that's really about it really not much more to say. Um, Oh wait, there is actually a grenade launcher. I just looked in the editor or whatnot. I was curious for two seconds. There's no power-ups or anything like that in here, but there is a grenade launcher. But it looks like it falls out of the level on startup, and that's why we didn't see it. Yeah. In fact, it's basically where the player spawns. No? Wait, how, how does one get there? Wait a minute here. Is one supposed to rocket jump? That, that's strange indeed, people. There is a hidden area, but now I'm curious how to get there. If you're supposed to use, like, a rocket jump to get up there, because there's no triggers or anything. There's nothing, like, you can use to, like, activate anything. Um, actually, there's two. There's two elevators in this level, and one is way over there. We've actually seen the two. I know where the two are. So it's neither of those. Yeah. You'd have to rocket jump up there. That's the only way you'd be able to get up to that hidden area with a grenade launcher. So yeah, what you need to do is get a grenade launcher or spawn up there. It looks like you can spawn up there. Um, yeah, it th th looks like there's a deathmatch spawn location that's going to be up there. And thus, that's another way you could like get up there and get to the um, grenade launcher. So... It is a possibility for players in, like, Deathmatch, but yeah, in single player, the only way to get up there would be, like, a rocket jump. So, needless to say, rather annoying, but yeah, let's see here. Let's actually, like, load that up for a second. See if I can get to, like, that, um, hidden grenade launcher. It's not really that hidden, but, you know, it kind of is because of how you need to, like, get up there. Yeah, see, there's where the grenade launcher is. And yeah, there's no way up there unless you rocket jump. Which, of course, is a lot worse when there's no health and, well, no armor or anything in this level. It's just straightforward rocket jump. Rocket jump, I feel horrible. Okay, we just want to come over here, get this rocket launcher. And now we want to play rocket jump to there. Well, it would, it would do well if I could get on the platform. I'm not doing well with these platforms. Let's see here. See, this is going to be interesting because you got to, like, do it on the solid piece, so like that, there we are. And here we are, now we're up here and we get the grenade launcher. For what purpose, I'm not really sure, since, you know, the rocket launcher is probably a lot better. I guess because of deathmatch, that play is fun. But yeah, I'm not really sure why there's no normal way to get up there. That, that feels rather annoying. Like, it's not big enough of a secret to be worthwhile. Like, the Thunderbolt would make a bit more sense, even though that's not that great. You know, honestly, the rocket launcher is, like, the number one gun of Quake. So if you're going to hide a gun, do the rocket launcher. Um, trying to use a grenade launcher feels a bit weak, to say the least. So, needless to say, not really the grandest of things. It could have been, like, a quad damage or something like that up there. But no, a grenade launcher... Yeah, not, not really a big thing of it. Like I said, the fact that it also has a spawn up there means basically one player is going to always spawn up there, which is rather annoying. But yeah, I guess five days because five spawn locations, that's about all I got. Um, or it took about five days to make this. That actually makes a lot more sense. Yeah, it took five days to make this, and therefore why he called it five days. So anyway, with that, with that in mind, that in mind, people, thank you all for watching. It's been the adventure, and I shall see you all next time.